Hey guys, it's Miss Hernandez. So every Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to be reading you guys a book and I will be uploading it to YouTube and you'll be able to see it at home. And since today is Monday, today's book will be The Hat Seller and the Monkeys. It's an old folk tale that's been um, talked about in different cultures. And this one's actually from an African culture, I believe. Let me see. I'll, I'll look at the about the author part first before we read the book. So this is just about um, the author whose name is Baba Wagwe Diakaite. I think that's how you say her name. She grew up at um, a place in Africa. Let me see what it was called. I'm not sure where she says it. Mali. The country of Mali in Africa. Um... It's a traditional folktale story that her family would tell. And she heard this story from her uncle. So she decided to make it into a book. And there's a lot of iterations of this, this kind of story. But this is just the one that she grew up with. So if you've never heard about it before, you'll hear about it today. Sorry for my dog. She's playing in the background. So this is The Hat Seller and the Monkeys. I really love the artwork in this book. Hopefully you guys will have an appreciation for it also. So let's go ahead and start reading this one. So, the hat seller and the monkeys. Okay. It's like very pretty, bold colors. That's what I really like about this book. Okay. Bamusa, the hat seller, was a joyful man. He traveled from town to town selling hats, which he piled high on his head. He manu nin goai. Karisa, he sang, which means what a wonderful business hat selling is. So you can see at the edges of the pages, there's some monkeys going around. And here are his beautiful hats. I just love this artwork. Okay. Can you see? Okay. Ever since he was a little boy, Bamusa made and sold hats. His grandparents and his own parents were hat makers, and they taught him to do this at a young age. After each harvest, the whole family would venture out to the fields to collect rice stalks from which they made wide-brimmed debiti hats to sell. During the rainy season, they embroidered close-fitting fagulon caps with, with intricate patterns of brightly colored threads. So as you can see, there's his the huts that they live in and you can see how they're making the hats in the front and this was the text that we just read the little rooster in Spanish we call those uh, gallos little gallo wait sorry through his joyful spirit and hard work Bamusa had become very well known in the neighboring towns Wherever he arrived with his hats piled high on his head, children would follow him and sing along as he sang his favorite song. He manu ni guai karisa. He manu ni guai karisa. He manu ni guai karisa. This is the story of how Bamusa learned an important secret for success. So there is what I was just reading. Those are the lyrics. He manun nin kwai karisa. Try saying that five times fast. And here we have the beautiful artwork of him going through the city or the town with his hats piling high on his head and the kids following along. One day, Bamusa heard that a great festival was to take place in a neighboring town. There, he could sell more hats than he'd ever sold before. He spent many days making hats for this event. To get to the festival by evening, he began his journey in the early morning, but he was in such a hurry he did not eat any breakfast. Halfway to town, Bamusa grew so tired and hungry, he had to stop and rest under a shady mango tree. He unloaded the hats from the top of his head and put them on the ground next to him. Then he covered his face with one as a blind shade to keep the sun from his eyes. Bamusa soon fell asleep and began to snore loudly. Kuru tu tu tu, kuru tu tu tu. Little did Bamusa know that the fruit from this tree attracted monkeys. Bamusa snoring alerted them to his company. 
So what do you think the monkeys are gonna do since they're coming? It's okay, baby. It's okay. She wants to play. And here we have the monkeys in the tree with the bongos. And he's sleeping down there with one hat on his face because he wants to keep the sun out of his eyes. I wonder what's going to happen. Okay. As usual, monkeys are very curious and smart. And they crept down from the tree. Yoli, yoli, yoli. Quietly, quietly, quietly. And sneaked around by Musa. Being attracted to the colorful hats, each monkey selected one. Then they climbed back up the tree and imitated by Musa, covering their faces and snoring. So I love that they have some um, words in Af like African languages in here. I'm not sure specifically what this language is. We can find out later. But here you can see the monkeys are coming down. How we have a little a little part with our amazing little guest star here, Socks. <laughs> so she wants to be getting attention. Here, Socks. Say hi, Socks. Sorry, guys. Okay, Socks. Okay, okay. Here, go play in the back. Sorry, guys. Okay. Here's the next page. Soon, Musa awoke from his sleep. Rested but hungry. Eager to continue his journey, he looked for his hats. But where were they? Had they been stolen? Frantically, Bamusa called for help. He manoon, he manoon, he cried out. <coughs> Sounds like that's what she's doing too. Socks. <laughs> and then here we have the beautiful tree with all the Mongols on it. And he is manoon. Bamusa, sorry. Bamusa is scared because he can't figure out where his hats are. At least they didn't take the one from his face. When the monkeys heard this, they answered him. Hoo, 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 hoo. So they're kind of, it sounds like they're kind of laughing at him. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens next. beautiful tree once again. But Musa looked up and realized what had happened. But he was so hungry he could not think clearly what to do. He raised his arms in the air. Chat, 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 he yelled. The monkey stared down at him and replied, hoop, 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 shaking their arms widely. See how they're kind of like dancing around a little bit? You can see him with his arms in the air kind of saying, get down here. <laughs> chat, chat, chat. Hmm. Bamusa threw a dead branch at them, hoping to scare them off. But the monkeys merely threw leaves at him in return. So all they did was just kind of throw stuff at him, saying, no, we're not giving your hats back. I'll let that kind of try to focus. There you go. You can see the... You just saw some... The leaves... <laughs> the leaves, the butterflies and stuff. Sorry about my mom in the background, guys. Okay. Then Bamusa picked up a stone and threw it on, into the tree. The monkeys picked mongos and threw them down at Bamusa. Now they're throwing not just the leaves, but the mongos, too. If you know what mongos are, they're like big fruits, like about this big. You can imagine having that thrown at you by a bunch of monkeys. And here is the, the monkeys throwing them at him. You can see him in the corner. Not looking so happy about that. Sucks. Go. No, there I am. <laughs> By this time, Bamusa was faint with hunger. And so he collected the fruit and sat down to eat. He ate until his stomach was full. Now Bamusa could think clearly. Now he knew what he must do. So now that he's he had something to eat, he he's thinking of a plan. Guess he can't think on an empty stomach sometimes, guys. There's the mongols, and then there's him eating and thinking at the same time. Okay. He removed the only hat he had left from his head and shook it up in the air at the monkeys, shouting. Oh.
All right, sorry guys. <laughs> That's my family back there, guys. Okay. Sorry, I had to restart because Socks was um, wanting to leave the room. Okay, here we go. Okay. He removed the only hat he had left from his head and shook it up in the air at the monkeys, shouting, He Manoon! He Manoon! All the monkeys did the same, grabbing the. Oops. What a video, guys. What a video. Okay. <laughs> Um, grabbing the hats off their heads, howling, hoo, 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 hoo. Bamusa dropped his hat, top to the ground. And all the monkeys dropped their hats. Top, 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 top. So you can see where he's raising up his hat and everything. And then there's the monkeys. Awesome. Sorry if you can't see so well, guys. Let me fix this camera real quick. This is what it's like being a teacher sometimes. <laughs> I'm just joking, guys. Okay, right, here we go. That's a little better, isn't it? Okay. Without losing a second, Bamusa collected all his hats, stacked them back on top of his head, and rushed to his destination. He arrived not a moment too soon. The sun's looking happy, he's looking happy, all these people are looking happy because they're all getting their, their hats. Look at that. <laughs> so great was Bamusa's happiness from his recent luck that his spirit of goodwill helped sell all of his hats. And so it was that Bamusa learned from the monkeys. It is with the full stomach that one thinks best. For an empty satchel cannot stand. So, always get a good meal to eat when you can so that you can, I think, at a good mindset. He looks pretty happy now. <laughs> and here's the page I just read. Awesome. Yes. Okay, so this page is what I showed you in the beginning, just the author's page, author's note. So, I'm trying to see where it says the language that they they used. But they're saying right here, um, this is a folk tale that's been told in Egypt, Sudan, Mali, India, and even England. And now, Africa. Well, which country was it? Mali in Africa, which is which I said already. Um, I'm trying to see the language. But yeah, so this is a really interesting book. Um, I love that they add. Oh, I think. Uh, no, sorry. I just love that they have the. The language in here as well so like for some certain words and stuff and then the artwork is just beautiful and I love like when you look at the the folktale part where the author's note is you can pause the video and, and kind of read this if you want if you can but it's just a lot of interesting things about the author and about the story how she heard the story what the story is supposed to mean and so on and so on and even what parts of the book have some significance from their country like the the monkey mask that they wear during the festival that's actually um something that she points out here in the back at the author's note so i definitely suggest when you have books that have author's notes you read them because that tells you a lot about the book you're reading okay so this was again the hat seller and the monkeys by baba wagwe diakaite hopefully i'm saying the name right beautiful artwork i can't i can't stress that enough guys illustrations are wonderful so if you like this i hope i hope you do i will be reading again every monday and wednesday this was just monday's video so look for another one on wednesday i miss you guys stay awesome and i'll see you later